I'm sorry, I'm gonna do this to you. Oh. Emily, what did the fish t say to his fiance? <laughs> Let's make this official. <laughs> I just had to do that. So how I describe Jacob is being one of the most empathetic, kind, and loyal people that I know. He'll always make you laugh with some of the dumbest jokes that you will ever hear. But, but we love him for that. We love him for that. After meeting Emily, all of these qualities and traits were just elevated. Being friends with Jacob, I've gotten the pleasure of knowing Emily for the past five years, and also hearing from the man himself how much he adores her. Always. We know he loves Emily. So it's no surprise that they're here today. Emily is strong-willed, resilient, and has a heart of gold. I'll never cease to being amazed by your elbow hands party trick. <laughs> so I'll be the first to say that I don't know much about marriage, but what I do know is that if there's any couple that should be marrying, it's Emily and Jacob. Then the snow started falling. We were stuck out in your car You were rubbing both my hands Chewing on a candy bar You said it is just like the present To be showing up like this There's a moment in your dress It really good We started to kill I'm gonna be a mess all day today <laughs> Uh, I mean, I can't do this. <laughs> I'm definitely the crier. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. That secret that we know. You can't help me cry. Wow. Isn't this weird? Yeah. <laughs> with Very. Yeah. I'm in love with the What's that noise? Jacob. When I think back to our very first date, I can't help but feel like we were already the same people we are now. Just talking, laughing, watching shitty movies, and letting me influence you into getting McDonald's. <laughs> At the same time though, so much has changed. We have a beautiful home, two of the cutest dogs, even if one is a jerk, <laughs> and such amazing family and friends surrounding us. I am so lucky and happy to have you in my life. You are the most amazing friend, the best listener, the most patient shopper, the perfect gossip, and the absolute most thoughtful person I know. I'm especially grateful that you are so kind to me, even when I'm just being too lazy to get up and get things for myself, and that you never complain about it. You have made me a better, more compassionate, and kind person than I would have ever imagined I could be. I love that I get to grow and become a better person with you every single day. I promise that I will always do my best to listen and learn from you when I need your kindness to help me be softer, and that I will be in your corner when you need my stubborn toughness. You make me a better person. I love you, and I am so happy to have you as my person. Emily, I tell you I love you, but you already know that. I hope you feel it every day. You make me feel more loved than I could have ever imagined. I could be a cliche and call you my best friend, which you obviously are, but that doesn't do you justice. You are part of me, as I am part of you. Over the last five years, we have become entirely different people, but the same people at the same time. I truly wouldn't be here without you. I love you, you for you, and I love you for the man that you've made me today. I love that you laugh until you almost pee at the stupidest videos. I love your big smile. I love that you're a freaking dork, and you have a dumb arm party trick. I love how you are authentically you, and you do not care who's watching.
There are so many reasons that I admire you. You build me up and you give me strength. You are ambitious and you are passionate. You have immense drive to get what you want. It's part of what drew me to you. The first time I told you I loved you, I could feel you trying to pull those words out of me. I don't care that it was a drunken night over freaking chicken strips. I wouldn't change a thing. When I said it, I truly thought I meant it, but I didn't know what love was. You've shown me, and I know what it is today. Although our love is always changing, there will always be one constant, you. I never want that to change. For these reasons, I vow to love and grow with you. I'll be there for all the sappy stuff, obviously, but I most look forward to laughing with you every day. I vow to push myself to grow alongside you, even though I know I need a kick in the butt sometimes. I promise to grow as a friend, lover, and partner. I vow to give you the best version of me. I know we will have to work at it every day, but I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else. I love you, Emily. Forever and always. I love you. Emily and Jacob, with these public promises and vows, and the symbolic exchange of the wedding bands, by the power vested in me, primarily by you guys, but by the state of Nebraska, I now pronounce you married. Family, welcome Emily and Jacob Morthorst. <laughs> Jacob and Emily, your love story is one of respect, humor, and devotion. I've seen your commitment through different seasons of your lives, and I know your best days are ahead of you. Those of us lucky to call you friend are better because your love brings joy to everyone you meet. Follow to the Now law school brings out the worst in a lot of people, but for Emily, it brought out her best. Law school showed me that Emily, you are so intelligent, confident, passionate, and have the ability to turn even the worst experiences into happy memories that I will cherish for the rest of my life. These are qualities that make a good lawyer, but they make an even better spouse. <laughs> and weirdly enough, law school also showed me Jacob's best qualities. Throughout the years, I have witnessed how genuine, kind, and supportive you can be. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> After struggling through all of law school, I truly don't know of any two people that are more suited for each other than the two of you. You two are the life of every party, and I cannot wait to party with you tonight. So let's raise a glass and cheers to the more course. And as time has gone on, and we've gotten older, I couldn't be more proud of my older brother. And Emily, I'm so glad that you've come into our family. You couldn't be a better fit. There's no one else in the world that I could picture as being another part of our family. We are so glad to have you. To the most wonderful couple in the world, these two bring a light out that is unimaginable. Cheers, Emily and Jacob. I'm ready to party. Um, so I'm gonna address everyone. There are 60 people here tonight. Um, so if you're here, you're kind of important to us. <laughs> if you're here, you're kind of important to us. You are part of our story and you are why we are the people that we are today. I am very lucky to have her, but I'm also very lucky to have all of you guys and I wouldn't want to celebrate this day with anyone else. So I just wanted to tell you guys, from, from both of us, we love you. So empty glass, toast to you guys. We love you. Toast to Emily.